uh, vibe on. <laughs> <laughs> Today's Len Peralta will be played today by Rudy Mancuso. <laughs> the part of Rudy Mancuso. Wouldn't it be crazy if there was actually someone in our audience named Rudy Mancuso? That there probably is because like, Roger's the one that said the name. Yeah. And he's like, listen, your depiction of Rudy Mancuso <laughs> is not accurate. You know, well, Mancuso to me just has a very like a no nonsense name, like someone mm -hmm. you don't want to screw with. Yeah. Like, oh, you better get this order, to, you know, filled out or Mancuso is going to come down here. <laughs> I'll send Rudy Mancuso down to talk to you. <laughs> this is something about that name. Is Turns out Rudy of, is like a, a, you know, like a six foot tall blonde guy. Yeah, kind of sweetest skinny. guy, sweetest guy in the it's world. It's like, oh, he's like, and he's just really persuasive and understanding and you feel good about it afterwards. Please, like, you know please, what you it know, is? I'm really sorry I, I disappointed you, Rudy. <laughs> I I didn't have this, but there was a science teacher in my I think was it high school or was it in college that had the last name Mancuso, and so it's just a very authoritative sounding name to me. Mm -hmm. Mr. All right, Mancuso. Well, it's just the three of us today, so I figure we ought to just get rolling. Yeah, rolling, um, rolling, if rolling. That's all rolling, good for rolling, you. Rolling. Yes, kick off the holidays. Let's kick a, kick off the holidays right. Kiki, kiki. We have a brand new intro just oh, sent this week from someone. Here he is. Ready? Daily Tech News Show is powered by its audience, not outside organizations. To find out how you can help power the show, visit dailytechnewsshow.com slash support. <laughs> This is the Daily Tech News for Friday, December 23rd, 2016. I'm Tom Merritt. Joining me today, Roger Chang, producer of Daily Tech News Show. Darren Kitchen's got the day off as we head into the holidays. Uh, how's it going, Roger? It's going good. I need to put back the shared screen so people can see the stories. Ah, uh, yes. We will put, down, put back that shared screen. Roger's doing double duty, okay? So be kind to him. He's producing and hosting, co-hosting. But thankfully, we also have Len Peralta alongside to illustrate the show one last time. Yes, the last time of the year we're doing this live. This is awesome. It's, I'm, glad, I'm glad to be here celebrating the holidays with DTNS and all the lovely listeners and viewers out there. If you haven't checked out LenPeraltaStore.com uh, yet, go do it. Uh, because not only does he have a year uh, uh, full of great art, from the Daily Tech News show that you can check out, but also uh, you've, you've got a special poster that people I can do. Own. Yeah, got a special DTNS super fan poster. Uh, you can get yourself drawn into it, or you can order the generic one, which of course has Quanto the computer on it, which is pretty uh, awesome. Quanto. Quanto. Maybe. Quanto's awesome. Well, and then they you can get a digital, a... you can get your digital art sent immediately. So if you're casting about right now for the last minute present that you, mm -hmm. don't, you know won't make it in shipping, get, get the digital art. The digital you can stuff. even print it out makes it all right uh let's get into the top stories for the first time consumer reports will not give an apple laptop a recommended rating the consumer product testing organization said all three models of new macbook pros had highly inconsistent battery life Recent software updates didn't change the outcome of the tests. Now, Consumer Reports doesn't do your standard benchmarking tests or playing video with an internet connection off or anything like that. What they do is they surf 10 web pages using the Safari browser over and over and over again with the screen on, and then they compare. So you get variant lives, but they should all, you know, mostly center around one particular number. And uh, they didn't. They were as, as short as three hours on up to 12 hours. So... Uh, they're saying mm, we can't we can't put this on the recommended list. It's a shame, uh, but you know what? It's not surprising. I think uh, I think a lot of the news stories that have trickled out uh, regarding Apple and their uh, direction toward the oh uh, toward, toward the uh, uh, their desktop MacBook platforms uh, have always been kind of like well you know it's kind of an afterthought so. Maybe maybe the battery life isn't there because they fully haven't put in the resources that they have compared to the uh, iPhone or uh, other uh, uh, iOS devices that they have. Yeah, for a second there, I thought somebody popped in uh, in, in yeah. the show. We I, we don't have a ton of news. This might be a bit of a shorter show. We'll see. Uh, Consumer Reports calling Apple naughty but calling Tesla nice announced that Tesla topped its annual owner satisfaction survey. 91% of Tesla owners surveyed would buy another Tesla in the future. Uh, and if you're wondering who was second and third, Porsche and Audi took the number two spots. In fact, I think Porsche was number one last year, so Tesla took it back over. Um, 
Yeah, it's very interesting because uh, wasn't Tesla kind of on the Consumer Reports not so nice list the last go around where it, it it received. Well, yeah, earlier in the year they 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 kind of downgraded them for customer status or for for customer support. Not not the Tesla S, but the new SUV version. And um, really, you know, there's always been a lot of I wouldn't say controversy, or maybe controversy regarding Consumer Reports and how they get these ratings because all they essentially do is they issue out uh, verified owners of those automobiles a questionnaire. And they, you know, through sampling, they should be able to get uh, a good uh, read on, you know, reliability based on ownership. And traditionally, Japanese makes, typically Toyota and Honda, have uh, done the best. Uh, so it's actually kind of neat to see Tesla up there, one being the first non-traditional uh, automobile being fully electric. Uh, Porsche, Audi... Not too surprising. I mean, you are paying top dollar for those cars, so you would expect the service to match, especially with Audi and their recent uh, diesel gate scandal. Well, yeah, they're part of Volkswagen, buyback. but a lot of people don't think about that. Uh, so, hmm. um, I, you know, I'm wondering. I think because a lot of these are the whoop, uh, the. Well, hold, hold on, hold on. Who we, we? Well, okay, on the audio version, you're not going to notice this, but I swear Santa Claus just popped in for a second. I'm sorry, Roger. You were saying. Oh, no, I was just saying that uh, it's great. It's great for Tesla. I really hope that they can be the, uh, uh, the, the key brand that brings uh, electric automobiles to the masses. Doctors at Imperial College Hospitals will soon start using an app called Streams, developed by Alphabet's DeepMind, to monitor patients who receive alerts on smartphones. The system takes information from blood tests and other regular measurements combined with patient records to determine when to alert a doctor. Streams is a result of a partnership that gave DeepMind access to 1.6 million patient records. And as I say this, Jenny Josephson just comes out of nowhere and joins the show. What? Jenny, what are you doing? I'm actually doing an Aaron Sorkin walk and talk in the marketplace offices right now. Oh, very nice. I was just nice. doing you an official walk and talk. You've got the radio behind you. Here you go. Getting ready for the show at 2 o'clock. Nice. Behind and the uh, scenes. I just dropped in to wish you guys a happy last live show of the year. Oh, thanks, Jenny. That's awesome. Pretty well, cool. And, and uh, is Yay. this your li last live show of the year? You guys keep going, don't you? Yeah. You, nothing stops marketplace. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Uh, well, fantastic. Um, I know you're, you're probably in the middle of your work day still, huh? Um, yeah, okay. I, I have one more official thing to do for the day, which is listen to a piece and make sure it has no mistakes. But I can do that in the five minutes before air. And so I thought I'd come hang out with you guys. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yay. Well, uh, thanks to all those who participate in our subreddit, submit stories and vote on them at dailytechnewsshow.reddit.com. There, there's a little bit more news around today uh, than those three stories, but I wanted to get to a bunch of our, our viewer picks today. And if you, you want more stories and you're not already subscribed to Daily Tech Headlines, then uh, go check out dailytechheadlines.com because that's actually a huge way that you can find out what's going on every day if you're not subscribed already. So, Jenny, you're going to hang out? I'm going to hang out. Awesome. Uh, I'm well, just, uh, I'm going to go silent when I'm listening to a thing because I'll be listening to a thing. Gotcha. Uh, well, let's start with uh, DJ Sakani. He sent in a pic uh, that he wanted to make as a pick of the day su suggestion. Seemed relevant to one of our shows from earlier this week. The app is called HyperTrack Live and allows you to send your ETA to anyone through text, email, or your messaging app of choice. The other party doesn't need to sign up for anything, and they can view your progress on the web. He says, I use it all the time to let my wife know when I'll be home. So it's kind of like Glimpse, I guess. Oh my gosh, Ashley Eskiva just popped in. Hi, Merry what? Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, Hello. Ashley. What's up? Figured I'd, I'd drop in on the the show before Christmas and say hello. We're just uh, talking about some picks of the day from folks, kind of winding things down as a slow news day. I'm so glad you dropped in. Oh, well, I'm so happy to be here with such a fabulous group of people. <laughs> what are you, what are your plans? What are you doing this, this next coming week? Uh, well, we have to decorate the house for Christmas, which we have not done yet. We are last minute Johnny's. <laughs> <laughs> Couple minutes left. Yeah. So it's a little late. Um, but, uh, you know, just hiding, hiding our, our dog's gifts from them. And, uh, and then, um, just <laughs> hanging out all next week. I have a uh, very big plans to play final fantasy 15, mm -hmm. uh, rank mm -hmm. up in overwatch 
I have just so many very serious plans. Goal, yeah, hey, it's good to have goals, things to achieve uh, over the break. Yeah. And then, of course, we have CES right after the break is oh over. Oh, my gosh, so, I know. Um, the, the big show, the, the Super Bowl of technology. Super Bowl. Yes. So you'll be going to CES then, I take it. Yes, and me and Bridget Carey will be hosting a show together, which oh, will fantastic. be super fun. It'll be 1 o'clock every day. The show floor is open, which I believe is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And we have some great guests. We have uh, we have the CEO of Razor coming on. We have the CEO of Hyperloop One. And Aisha Tyler is going to be joining us. Let me tell you, CNET has a fine tradition of CES live shows. Uh, so you guys are going to rock it. That's awesome. Yeah, thanks. Well, yeah. I'm going to go. i got to decorate the house, you guys. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. All right. Merry thanks, Christmas. Ashley. See you later. Have a great break. Merry you Christmas. Too. Well, right then, right as Ashley leaves, uh, Jenny, look who else is joining. Phil Shane. Has uh, has popped in. He appears to have brick wall for his home. He, you're just this you're is... living the Brooklyn Christmas life over there. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's very cozy. Just tucked away in your uh, local coffee shop. How's it going, man? Good. This is the uh, the bean. In, oh, uh, the bean Berg, is the name of the, I... uh, the coffee shop. Got it. The bean, the bean, like your you know your bean, but the bean, yeah coffee bean and uh this is where i listen to dtms every day oh fantastic so so this is this is comfortable for you to be having dtns going on yes in fact we're it's it's talking to me <laughs> it's talking it's back coming to you out for of, once. it's yeah. coming out of the screen yeah usually <laughs> i'm sitting here writing titles like this well, if you don't if you don't know Philip Shane, he's been on uh, our our quarterly hangout sometimes. Uh, he'll be on our Lister Coho show uh, coming up, and uh, he is a fine documentary filmmaker in his own right. Well, thank you very much. Hi, Jenny. Jenny's I'm trying to balance her yeah. work life right no. now. I understand. <laughs> the real news uh, must happen. So cool, man. What's what's your plans for the next coming week? I am actually deep, deep in the editing of a documentary right now that uh, I have to submit to the Tribeca Film Festival on January 6th. So I have about two weeks to do about four months worth of work. So oh, man. Just, okay. yeah. I guess you'll be... A I can actually think back to many Christmases and many Yom Kippers. That's the Jewish New Year, mm -hmm. where I have been working 36, 72 hours in a row. The man never rests. For yeah. you, for America. For um, yeah, we're doing it for you, America. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Fine lots edutainment. Of lots of coffee. Yes, lots of coffee and tea. Thanks to the bean. You're powered by the bean, it sounds like. Yeah, in fact, I got to tell you, sitting here at the cafe, where I also do a lot of my work, uh, if I, when I like to get out of the house, um, I sit here and I'm working and the day gets long and I look at that and I'm on DTMS when to come <laughs> and then that's my great break during the day oh cool uh, it's a uh, perfect yeah. timing like 4 30 or around there towards the end exactly of the day. Yeah, 4 great. 20 yeah usually 4 20 which it's your 4 20 know, break i'm so sorry that, that, <laughs> <laughs> that has new york state that may also be part of christmas break you know I yeah know. sure <laughs> definitely <laughs> Uh, well, we were just going through uh, some picks from folks that that sent him in. Adam Kilborn uh, was was raving about the fact that when his home theater died and he pulled out an old Pioneer from downstairs, he'd lost his remote. So he was using the Harmony Hub. Uh, he says it's about 80 bucks. It's a small device that sits in the entertainment cabinet, smaller than an Apple TV, and it controls everything. And in fact, even he could even control his lights if he got a smart bridge from Lutron. Uh, he likes some of the higher-end universal remote functions of it. Uh, he can program one-touch activities like watch Apple TV, and it turns on the television, turns it to the proper input, all of that. He says, and I always have my phone with me, so using the app means I have one less remote control laying around. So unless you lose your phone, you don't lose the remote. And even I think even if you do lose the phone, you can still, you know, if you get a new phone and install the app and log in, it keeps all your settings. You know, stuff like that is great. I mean, just having, you know, I don't have that many devices. I have like maybe four or five, but they, they each come with the remote. And eventually, eventually one will get lost or shoved in between the cushions or something. And it's just, it's a pain in the ass to, to fish it out and try to manipulate the TV while your kid's screaming in your wanting more uh, TV of their nature. Yeah. Oh, so speaking of TV or our nature, it's uh, Jason Howell. 
Hey, how's Jason, it going, how? Guys? What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, Halloween. No, wait, it's not Halloween. It's Christmas. Oh, my gosh. The, the, the people are just flooding in. Look at this. Jen Cutter <laughs> showed up. How's it going, Jen? Hey, it's going well. How about you? I, I'm doing great. This is so fun that everybody's showing up. Ron Richards? What? Or is it Santa? I can't tell. Hey, Tom. I'm just I'm just wrapping presents here. Oh, wow. <laughs> That, that hat looks so natural and normal on your Ron. I, I've been put to work by Santa, so, you know, I'm just doing my part. Well, we've got uh, the hosts of All About Android, and uh, Jason hosts Tech News Today. Ron also hosts Damn Fine Podcast, which you ha if you're a fan of Twin Peaks and you haven't checked out, you really ought to. It's damn fine. It, Thank you. You. Should, you should check it out, please. Uh. Thank you, Jason, for so much. <laughs> So what are you? Uh, oh, look, Rich Straffolito just sneaked in as well. Uh, he what? is the uh, he helps write daily tech headlines. He sometimes uh, will fill in for me. So look for his voice next week on daily tech headlines. <laughs> it's a very visible might, voice. You might recognize him most as Rich from Lovely Cleveland. Uh, and I have a confession since it's the holidays. Don't want to hold any secrets. Uh, the last couple months I've been Rich from North Olmsted, Lovely North Olmsted, uh, and in fact left Cleveland. Uh, I'm right next door. <laughs> confession though len we, len what's the ruling on that uh that's still what? cleveland that's still cleveland i mean i'm in cleveland even though i really rich and i are are, are more or less neighbors now so <laughs> uh okay so the ruling is you can still be rich from lovely cleveland well so, i left and then all the sports teams started winning so i'm gonna stay away <laughs> there you go yeah. jen cutter uh what do, what are you plans for the next couple next week or so Oh, well, I am house sitting right now, which is why I have this lovely, very ugly color wall behind me. <laughs> and uh, tonight, on February 23rd at 10:30 p.m., I have a hockey game. Ah. That I figure I will be the only one there for. We're well, then you'll to, win. <laughs> well, we're trying to convince my goalie to come, and we have a nurse on the team. And I have to quote this amazing thing because my goalie's not feeling well. So the nurse, the actual legit nurse, has told her, "Drug yourself ASAP." Two Tylenol cold and flu, some Advil, make yourself a Tom Collins of pills. This seems like terrible medical advice. I don't even care the country. <laughs> Your nurse? Wait a minute. This is socialized medicine in Canada? Yeah, I'm waiting for the doctor on our team to chime in. I'm pretty sure even the chiropractor is going to tell her, please don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> wait, so totally. you, wait, so if she doesn't show up, do you have to fill in as goalie? Yes. So oh, I really, okay. really, really want her to show up. <laughs> <laughs> or to not have enough players so we forfeit and I can live with that because I'm going to do a, a stream of steep afterwards. It'll be great for West Coast people, not so great for East Coast. Um, well, cool. It's actually, it actually sounds like you're going to have a lot of fun. One way or another, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Uh, well, cool, you guys. Thanks for all coming in and saying hey. Uh, we have, oh, wait, Chris. The amateur, hey, Chris, uh, Chris hey. the Amateur Traveler just yeah. showed up too. How's it going, Chris? Going very well, thanks. Hey, Chris. But I can only stay so, a minute. I think that's my oh, new that's, goal here, right? That's all right. Usually when we get this number of people in the Hangout, uh, it crashes my computer, Breaks, and then you all yeah. have to carry on the show without me. Um, but no, it's let's not jinx it, because it all seems to be working. Yeah. So, Chris, uh, are you traveling for the uh, for over the holidays? I am not. No, I'm not. Oops, sorry. That's... That's the alarm to tell me to come on the show. So this is the <laughs> one time during the year where you won't be traveling. Right, right, right. No, I don't travel all the time. I, I stay home quite a large portion of the time because somebody has to earn a living too. But Yeah, well, and you also have to do the show. You know, you can't be doing the show and traveling at the same time all the time. Right, right. It well, Rick happen. Steves does it. Mm. He actually <laughs> does all the show in a one-month period in the summer. Really? That explains yeah. his clothes. He just yeah, wears the same shirt the whole. Yeah, way. he like I not not to dig at him, but he 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 rotates through like five things. <laughs> well, his no, his radio for show. Help. We just he brought different shoes, yeah. shirts. <laughs> shoes? Wait, was was that was the Canadian call for help? Nothing but feet. Uh, yeah. Did you remember Sean? Sean had the best shoes, and yes, he did change them. <laughs> Uh, possibly. But it does speak to uh, doing things in batch. You know, you could do Daily Tech News show all in January and then take the rest of the year off. I wish that were so. <laughs> just say, <laughs> just, I mean, I guess the phone blew the up and and over again. That's just all. Just the Apple and other could probably get away with. <laughs> you know, you what we could do, what's the what's the thing in grade school where you make with the four fingers and you do the kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know what you call that thing, but uh -huh. like we could do that with news and then we just associate it with whatever company. Yeah. <laughs> 
you right. know? Oh, the fortune teller thing, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. kind of like a uh, new set top box from Uber or Apple gets <laughs> in the autonomous car. <laughs> when you know? I was at HP, I wrote a random uh, status report generator and no one actually figured it out for a month until I finally confessed because I was convinced <laughs> that people were not reading status reports. So it had a grammar, you know, helped, helped fill, fill in name of person here with fill in name of project here and... Uh, you automated it, it actually worked. It worked for a week. It worked for a month, and I finally had to confess because no one was ever going to know. <laughs> so it would have worked longer than that. It would have worked longer than that. It was, it was very frustrating how well it worked. <laughs> when I was in high school, I wrote a program that uh, created randomly generated E.E. E. Cummings poems. And uh, <laughs> then in my English class, I was in love with my English teacher, and I thought, I'm going to really impress her. And this was on the Apple three years it was apple 2c whatever it was a new thing and uh, so i presented an entire poem i analyzed it i told the history i mean it was all bullshit and uh, <laughs> got an a and, and thought well mrs adler's gonna tell and i tell her and i told her this is something actually the computer wrote it's not a real poem and she just i was never her i never got to wipe her blackboard again that's all oh, <laughs> but now she's your wife no? <laughs> yeah. and now that's, really and that's how i met my wife and to be quite honest paul harvey <laughs> in reality you were ahead of the game because that's exactly where we're headed now yeah, the singularity. Machine learning the singularity part. yeah <laughs> There should be, uh, you know, so there's a woot.com. What about woo.com where you basically outsource your uh, romantic, uh, um, what do you call it? Basically oh. wooing to some to a third party and then just, you know, when it's done, you Cyrano. can step into the place. A yeah. Cyrano, or yeah, exactly. you, can also, wow. you can also have woo.wu.com where you can outsource your rap and someone from the Wu-Tang will write you a rap. We'll write the rap for you, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 absolutely. Be like Task Rabbit, except yes. for, for Woo, Rap Rabbit. Woo Rabbit. Rabbit. Woo Rabbit. Yeah. Rap yeah. Rabbit. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you guys all for going up, uh, showing up. We have people knocking at the door to get into the hangout, uh, and and so until someone leaves, we can't let them in. Uh, but I, I can't, I don't, I can't find it in the heart of me to kick anyone out. I will leave. I will leave. I got all this laughing to do, so I'm going to bounce. So all right, thank you again, guys. Ron. See ya. <laughs> thank I will you. also leave. Happy, happy holidays to everybody. You all too. The holidays. Thanks for being part of the show. I mean, you're, how many years has this been going on now, Tom? This is three years now. Yeah. Wow, so we're amazing. headed into our fourth. That's yeah. awesome. Amazing. Amazing. Uh, Jenny, oh, and Jason Howell, by the way, I'm a big fan of yours as Hi. well. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. And then I, then I bought your drawings, and it's hanging on my wall. It was oh, a Christmas excellent. for myself. The Thank one you. of the screen looking in the mirror from oh, a couple yes. few weeks ago. <laughs> Thank amazing. you. That's amazing. awesome. Okay. Oh, my gosh. That's, that's incredible. Hey guys, Thank you. All right, 2017 you rocks. Yeah. Thank Wait you, Tom. I'm gonna bounce as well because you okay. know tech news. Tech news isn't gonna write itself. Sure, especially today, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's already it's already proven itself to be the most complicated episode ever because you pretty much have to make up segments. But uh, we'll get there. We'll figure it out. All right. Thanks, Jason Howell. Right. Thank you. Go, go check out Tech News today. Twit.tv/slash TNT. Thank you, sir. Learn happy learned it all by watching you, man. Oh, stop. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. <laughs> happy New Merry Year. Merry Christmas to everyone. Love all you right. guys. See you See all later. Hold on. Darren Kitchen, I thought I, I thought you weren't on the show today. What are you, what are you doing there? It's Friday, right? Isn't it Friday? <laughs> yeah, but you said you couldn't make it. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said I said I'd be like a little bit late. I, I've got so enthralled in this book here. What, that what I'm book are you reading? Plugging. It's called a Chronology of Tech History. Oh, that thing's but, so outdated. You should. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's got some interesting facts. Like, did you know that uh, 61 years ago tomorrow, after an advertising misprint, the Continental Air Defense Com Command or uh, CONAD started getting calls from children for Santa Claus. You see, the director of operations, Colonel Harry Shoup, had his staff then check the radar for signs of St. Nick. And since 1958, when NORAD was created, they've been keeping tabs on uh, old Santa Claus ever since. Yes, he's a wily huh. one. They've been trying to shoot him down for the past 60 years. <laughs> you know, I was looking for something to fill time on Daily Tech headlines tomorrow. Maybe I'll steal that. <laughs> uh, we also got Pete Wells. Peter Wells just uh, popped in. How's it going down there? I'm good, mate. How you doing, Tom? I'm good, man. Uh, happy holidays. Thanks for stopping by. 
Hey, happy holidays to you too. Yeah, it's uh, Christmas Eve here already, so uh, really kicking into the spirit. We're just about to head off for our first Christmas uh, lunch of the, the first of like a five day Christmas uh, festival this year. Oh wow! When you have a little baby, you have to go to everywhere. You go on the Christmas tour, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's it's fantastic. Uh, and and to balance things out from New Zealand, Paul Spain has joined in at the same time, who is also experiencing Christmas Eve. Hey, how are we doing? Greetings from uh, the other part of Down Under. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, why does New Zealand look brighter than Australia? Well, because the Australians are a bit behind. We're really at the forefront of the world and uh, the sun's <laughs> <not enough. laughs> Mate, mate, come on. <laughs> Australia's Canada is talking a lot of smack right now. I really like that. Oh, as a Canadian, I take issue. <laughs> I will defend New Zealand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. It's literally like almost oh, okay for two other points of the game. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we, I was just thinking, it's like, wait a minute. You're like, the sun it. almost never sets on Daily Tech News Show, right? Now. Almost. Uh, uh, well, that's fantastic. So, 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 Pete, what are you going to be doing I, I, after your five days? What are you going to be doing between now and CES? Uh, I really don't know. I've got, um, I've been like avoiding phone calls from PR agencies for the last couple of days mm -hmm. saying, no, I haven't looked at your invites yet. I don't know if I'm going to go visit your booth. Uh, so I don't know what to do. Like, I, I, I guess I have to. <laughs> Just I, give them an email. I learned, I learned <laughs> that one year because my phone, if they don't reach you, like when pick up, they'll just text you incessantly. And it was mm -hmm. literally obnoxious because I was missing important texts from like Patrick Norton or someone else to show up somewhere because I was getting all these uh, Karen, Tom not Karen Thomas. She was the one that spammed my inbox. Uh, <laughs> but I was, I was getting one from like, Hey, would Roger you just names, names. No, K Karen Thomas is like one of those PR agencies that represents a bunch of companies. Oh, okay. That's the name and of the agency. That's all you get in your inbox. Karen Thomas, blah, blah, blah. You should check out this booth. Blah, blah, blah. Check out this booth. Oh, it's not on the floor. You need to go to the Hyatt. Oh, no, it's not here. You have to go to the Mandalay Bay. Oh, it's not. It's like, no. Making CES sound fantastic. Paul, are you going? I'm not. No, I'm... Uh, I bet I mean, you're glad now. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's always crazy. I've, I'm still uh, bombarded with all the emails uh, inviting me to things at CES, so... Uh, so I'm actually preparing to buy a new house. So I've been looking at what technology should go into it. And oh. uh, one of the emails was from, uh, looks like a ring doorbell competitor called Remo Bell. Uh, so I was just having a look at that before. I thought, oh, this looks good. Maybe I should, uh, I should try that out. And then I got to the bit at the bottom that said uh, they're only focusing on the U.S. market for now. So. Uh, ah. Well, yeah. one of our picks from from people from Mike, who is a Diamond episode boss, was Sinope or Sinope. They have a an accent uh, on the end. I don't know if that's available in New Zealand, uh, but he's raving about it because the web interface connects to your network over Ethernet, then to the cloud service, connects to devices over RF, and it was live wire, uh, line voltage, sorry, line voltage for his thermostat, and not every smart thermostat out there will do line voltage, so he's pretty excited to find that. Oh, that's cool. I'll definitely have to look that up. You might, yeah, S-I-N-O-P-E accent grove. Is that what that is? Anyway. <laughs> Wait, so is it a new no, build house nice or is it, uh, is, are you looking just at houses, houses like ones that are already built? Yeah, no, it's an existing built house. So uh, be basically be looking at uh, what technologies can go into it so that it's, uh, you know, techified up to, uh, up to an appropriate level. One thing that uh, Robert Heron convinced me of, and if I ever find the money to do this, is to basically run conduit so I can have in the house, so I can run new whatever cables I need to and patch them into the wall and not need to rely solely on uh, Wi-Fi, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. Although I did a, do a pretty good job using a flat Ethernet cable and uh, kind of affixing it to the, uh, to the crown molding and running it from one end of the house to the other just so I could have wired ethernet but oh, Darren, flat ethernet, gonna... that's a good idea oh yeah, dude, yeah the flat ethernet cable though if you're getting more than 10 base t out of that i'm i'm super surprised yeah fair enough i i am i i am actually pretty impressed it's 11 megabits <laughs> uh i no 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 i i definitely get more than that 
You know, you uh, might want to try dropping some Cat 6 uh, into the new place, only because uh, we're just starting to see the first uh, 2.5 gigabit uh, consumer chips hit the market. Just saying. It's uh, but definitely. I mean, what did I get? I don't remember. I bought it off Amazon. It was like 30 bucks for 100 feet. Yeah. Well, uh, Roger, I don't know. Do we have anybody else knocking at the door? Or are we? Well, let me see. I have oh, Peter. He's on. Mr. Anthropology. He's on. Uh, yeah. There's Roger. Oh, wait, that's me. Yeah, you're, you're here. I'm here. Darren is on here. Len's still here. Um, I'm still here. Meg. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. What's this person? Oh, that's Chris. Uh, <laughs> Megan says she might not be uh, might not be able to make it. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, she's probably working with Jason on, on getting ready for their show. Jason. So. Jen, Jenny's working on her show, but she was able to show up. What kind of place do you work at, Jenny? Seriously. I work at a place that tapes at 2 o'clock. <laughs> she's like, in like literally three minutes. Stop, stop calling me out. <laughs> Guys, in three minutes, I can totally talk. <laughs> Uh, in the meantime, yeah. I'm going to take off. And, uh, oh, okay, thank you, Jen. Go bring stuff to my goalie and make sure she shows up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have a good game. Thank you. Everyone traveling on the holidays, please be safe and try not to snap at fellow travelers. I know it's hard. <laughs> yeah, that's a, good, that's a good thought. Thanks again, Jen, right. for, for everything. My pleasure. Take care. All right. Merry right. Christmas. And I believe I will bounce as well. Ah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for dropping in, Rich. Absolutely. And make sure you stay tuned for Daily Tech Headlines uh, all next week. Yep. It's an all rich week. Don't miss it. It's a rich <laughs> week. Or, you know. Rich media yeah. right there. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be some fantastic tech news. Let me tell you that. Buy yeah. some lottery <laughs> tickets. You might be rich at the end of the week. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Happy awesome. holidays. Awesome. Happy holidays, Rich. Bye. Cool. Bye. I'm going to pop See you guys. Off, so. I'll, uh, oh. I'll duck you out, too. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, who like wants to say goodbye first? <laughs> I'm just going to say, uh, you know, it's a pleasure. I'll see you next year and uh, hack your holidays. Hey. Hack your holidays, Darren. Thanks for yes. stopping in, man. Bye. Cheers. He's got to, you got to go back into the warehouse and, and start shipping things out. I have a feeling. <laughs> uh, now, now, Chris, I think you said you were, you're taking yeah, off too. I think I got to bounce also. Hey, uh, if anybody hasn't put it together, it Chris is the guy. Chris is the guy who does does the uh, the post show roles on the audio podcast as well right. on uh, on travel as well as his his own podcast. But I cut you off there. What were you going to say? Oh, it's my parents' sixtieth anniversary today, so I oh uh, happy I'm anniversary celebrate with them. So yeah, we'll send along our best wishes. I'll do so. All right, thanks, thanks again, Chris. Bye bye bye. And Paul, thank you for joining us as well. Thanks. So it was uh, it's good good to connect and see you guys. Yeah, have a great uh, Christmas. And we'll Will catch do. you in the new year. Awesome. Uh, well, tell us how it is, whether it's safe to go into Christmas and New Year's, you guys. <laughs> it can't it's, be any worse. It's looking okay so far from the future. So, All right. um, you know, I think, I think you're uh, safe to follow. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. We'll talk to you soon. See ya. Cheers. Happy New Year. All right. Uh, there might be some more people uh, pop by here. Uh, in the meantime, I wanted to throw out Fire Dog's recommendation. He wanted a, a an app that would control his son's cell phone as, because his son was 16 and just started to drive uh, to keep him off his cell phone while driving. He says, I don't know about other cities, but on a daily basis, I witness all ages swerving around the roads, staring at their phones. Didn't take me long to find a solution because of the naming choice, cellcontrol.com. It's reasonably priced at $129 and no subscription fee. So it sounds expensive, but it is a one-time thing. You buy it once and that's it. Uh, he says there are many options as to what is allowed, like notifications, etc. There's a web interface that allows you to see the trip information and max speed. It can distinguish the passenger from the driver somehow, so it doesn't stop you from using it if you're not driving. Uh, he says, check it out. Uh, so FireDog recommends it, cellcontrol.com. Why isn't this built into all of our phones, though? Well, just, just the ability, right? Like, I wouldn't want it to be on by default, but the ability to go in and manage it, uh, I guess the parental control aspect makes it difficult because they're, ha you know, they're, you basically have to agree to install something. Uh, you know, the, the the kid has to agree to install it to let the parent manage it. Yeah, I don't want the parental stuff. I, I just want to be able to say, yeah, when when I'm traveling at more than you know 30 k's an hour, then don't call me like yeah. that kind of thing. Just stop or me as, from as, keep me like help me help myself is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, I have no self-control. I've accepted that. So, <laughs> so step in and help me out here. Yeah, I don't know why that's, you guys, uh, that is so difficult. Oh. Yeah, Jim? I was just going to say, 
So right now we're having a mini uh, one degree related Buzz Out Loud reunion because Molly is hosting uh, Marketplace right now as we speak in the background. Oh, <laughs> hi Molly. How's it going? <laughs> she can't hear me. No, but I'll text her hi during a break. <laughs> you're, you're, the, you're the bridge uh, between the bridge. us right at the moment. That's awesome. That's right. It's really yeah. happening. Uh, <laughs> We got two more picks I want to get to before we're done here. John, uh, co-executive producer in Billings, Montana, wanted to throw out Office Lens from Microsoft for digitizing photos. It's more along the lines of the listener feedback of just taking a picture, but it will help you crop and straighten. My favorite use case is after an intense whiteboard session, using it to digitize the whiteboard and send it to participants. Uh, for documents, it'll OCR them. It'll do the character recognition as well. And it's on iOS and Android for free. Yeah, it's made it to my the front page of my home screen. It's a it's a fantastic app. Oh, so so you agree with John on this one, huh? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, it, a lot of the OCR stuff doesn't really kick in unless you save it to OneNote. Um, so you have to kind of use Microsoft's tools in the back end if you want that to happen. But ah. uh, yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Well, uh, that and uh, George wrote in and pointed out that SovereignPrime.com had put up an ebook called Quantum Animal of the art of and it's off my screen here and it won't come up uh and the art of overcoming and uh gave us a little shout out at the end dailytechnewsshow.com so thank you george cool. for pointing that out awesome. we'll have that link in the show notes as well yay yay all right uh well that is pretty much going to wrap it up for us today uh thank you peter wells for joining us I'm the only one sticking around, I guess. Uh, yeah, yeah, thank you, Tom. Um, <laughs> so, so what can I uh, expect to hear over the break? Uh, what, what kind of special shows have you guys recorded? I'm glad you asked. Uh, we're going to have the Best of Show coming out this Monday, uh, and Roger put that together with segments that were nominated by folks in the audience. Uh, so, Roger, is, is there anything particular we should tease about that? But uh see what stories your fellow viewers and listeners like the best and what they thought were probably the most engaging conversations tom had with the fellow dtns contributors uh and uh yeah because i can't remember off the top of my head we also have <laughs> our uh our listener co-host show our overrated stories or i'm sorry underrated oh, overrated, stories. underrated yeah underrated. overrated is what everyone else does we're doing <laughs> yeah. underrated stories uh so stories you may not have heard about uh we got nate langson and ian morris from text message for that we have our predictions show our predictions results show where we check on our predictions from last year and uh and then uh that brings us up to january 2nd when we'll be back with live shows and look who popped in right at the end brecky thomason how's it going brother good good how are you man? i'm doing well uh i bet you were trying to get in and, and the hangout wouldn't let you huh well yeah i hear people were um crammed i mean people were here all the time yeah it was it was starting to get a little warm in here so you it was smart to imagine. wait until the room emptied out a little yeah yeah you know i'm, I'm not like the other people i don't want to you know be with the crowd yeah yeah i hear you that's good what do you got coming up for the next week when in between the in the during the holidays absolutely nothing man i'm <sighs> sleeping that's that that's the plan lovely. yeah wait yeah. Is, do you have hue lights or something behind you or is that yes a... i do <sighs> that's pretty awesome They're literally all <laughs> over the apartment i i go to bed and i say you know hey siri turn off the lights and she does i'm so glad that that it didn't work right then <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, awesome, man. Uh, and you, you'll still be uh, going with your with Psycon Network in 2017? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're, we're doing better than ever. Uh, Geek Days is a great show. I mean, not as good as yours, but it's getting there. Oh, know. stop. It's well, a small better. step at a time. Uh, but yeah, we, we do our own, you know, daily geek culture type of thing. And uh, we're having a lot of fun doing it. Oh, fantastic. Remind people where they can find that again. Uh, Psycon.fm. That's C-S-I-C-O-N.fm. Yeah, like you're conning the CSI people, PsyCon. That's exactly how that works. Yeah. Oh, no, uh, and Pete Wells, what are you going to be doing in the new year? Uh, well, I'm going to try try my best to, to work out a time to uh, meet up with you while I'm in Vegas. I can't, can't believe how hard that actually turns out to be. No, um, I know. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, yeah. So people who don't know, we've, we've sent about 40 emails back and forth just to work out like 30 minutes of, of on-the-ground time during CES. Uh, it's it's going to be a fun week. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We'll get we'll get you on on 
recording somehow, one way or another, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's in the main show or, or maybe I, I'll do some little bits uh, from the floor at CES Unveiled or Digex or something like that. That would sound. Uh, that sounds like heaps of fun. Um, yeah, you, you have a fantastic Christmas break, sir. Uh, thank you to the entire DTNS uh, crew, um, everyone behind the scenes. Roger, you work so so hard. I'm sure um, not a lot of people know just how hard you work on the show. So thank you, Roger, for for everything you've done. Thank you, Jenny. Um, it's great to see you, tiny little head there at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be at CES. It's official. Oh, oh nice. Hey. Oh, well, we'll hey. see you like too, then. Like a DTNS yep. reunion meetup. It'll be awesome. Really? All my favorite people in the worst city in the world. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> there's there's That's worse right. cities, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, Jenny, any, any last words before we wrap up? All I'm saying is that if 2016 takes Carrie Fisher from me, I'm oh. quitting. Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> no, do you know that... something? Do you know something? <laughs> is there, that's, is there... all, that's all I'm saying. That's all right. CGI Carrie Fisher but, uh, will be back. I wish you guys all the, the very best in this time off. You work really hard. I know exactly how precious that week is um, for people who work on this show every single day, and you really deserve the break. Well, thank you, Jenny. That's that's very nice. And I likewise would remind people that Jenny still is very essential to advising this show and helping us figure out what direction to go in and works really hard herself at Marketplace. And you should go check that out because one of the reasons we had Ben Johnson on the show was because Jenny dropped a little whisper in somebody's ear and then I was able to be on Marketplace Tech doing the tally this week and that was really fun. So thank you, Jenny. Good I'm going to converge all the things. Yes. <laughs> converge it. You'll be Bring the next. Them all. Bring them all. Marketplace.org, right? That's the right place to go? Yep. Yep. Awesome. All right, Len. This is your last chance in 2016 the last to top yourself, which you seem to do every week. Yeah, you know, I I, I wish I would have known that everybody was going to be here for the party. So, <laughs> the, uh, uh, but you know, I wanted to do something. Thanks for carrying was, out the bit to the end. <laughs> <laughs> so I was sort of surprised, uh, but for the drawing, uh, I wanted to do something that I felt was really important. Uh, it's uh, Santa Merritt with uh, with uh, Elf Roger. Jolly, jolly Elf Roger, uh, <laughs> <laughs> saying happy, uh, 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 happy holidays and uh, uh, happy New Year, and to all a good night from DTNS for our last live show of the year. So the images of Santa Merritt and Jolly Elf Roger, uh, awesome, saying thank you to everyone that listened and everybody that contributed and everything else uh, for this year and on to year four. That's year lovely. Four. I wow. love it. Um, you're you're making me buy these every week now. They're so good. <laughs> I don't mind really. They're they're amazing, uh, and you make me look handsome. Well done. Well, you know that's uh, you know there's there's a reason for that because it's called uh, an artist, Tom. Yeah, <laughs> you, you are the host of the show, so <laughs> so he feels obligated to do that. <laughs> no, it's not. I feel obligated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, go check this out, LenPeraltaStore.com, and as we mentioned at the top of the show, there's also uh, the the fan the fan poster yes. still available with Quanto. Yes, and also uh, if you want to get a lot of the great stuff I did over this past year and previous years, uh, the Daily Tech News Show uh, Instant Art Collection Volume Three is out. Uh, so those are the great uh, images I've drawn over the past year. Uh, ten of the ten of the best ones, uh, and you can also pick up the other ones. You can do you can download version three uh, immediately and digitally and print it out right from your desktop. So Excellent. go ahead and check that out. Excellent. Thank you, Len. Uh, and that's it uh, for 2016. Three years ago, when we started this crazy adventure, a bunch of you guys sent me a bottle of 25 year old Talisker Scotch to lift my spirits with some spirits. <laughs> I have been milking this thing for three years now, and uh, I'm still incredibly thankful. But if you're watching the video, you can tell the thing is almost, almost. a dead soldier there. So <laughs> wow. uh, this is it. As we go, this is not, this, this means we are graduating from beta status. That's what I'm gonna say. This was the beta <laughs> bottle. Send uh, more beer, send more so, wine. <laughs> yeah, we are also, uh, I need to refill guys. Yeah, no, send just kidding. more. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm going to pour out the, that's it. I'm pouring it all out. Uh, DTNS is officially a real show. Finally. Thanks to all of you. Uh, cheers. We always thank our patrons at the end of the show, uh, patreon.com slash DTNS, but also the people who support us in all kinds of other ways. If you're 
supporting us. If you're even just listening and enjoying the show, we thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Here's to you. Happy holidays. Mm. Trying to drink loudly for the audio listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't forget, our email address is feedback at dailytechnewsshow.com. We're live Monday through Friday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern at alphageekradio.com and diamondclub.tv. And our website is dailytechnewsshow.com. Back on Monday with our best of show and back with live episodes on January 2nd. And that's when I'll talk to you next. This show is part of the Frog Pants Network. Get more at frogpants.com. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, for staying to the end. Yay! Yes, that was great. So many. That was great. Yeah, that worked out great. It was a lot of fun. Somebody, oh, asked, me, to somebody asked me, she said, what are you doing in there? I was like, I'm podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> Secret podcast. <laughs> Oh, okay. I am officially done, so I'm going to log off. Well done, Len. <laughs> well done. Great year of art, my friend. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me again. Oh, thank you for doing it. I just super appreciate it. Oh, it's it's a lot of fun. It's it's really is. I've uh, not only has this been a lot of fun, and I'm really happy to be along, but made a lot of really great fan, friends along the line. Um, and uh, it's been, it's been a really it's been great it's been great to be associated with it. So. Yeah, and I'm I, I, I'm stu- I'm literally I'm always blown away by by the art you come up with. So uh, it's fun. It keeps me on my toes. So good. it's good. good. <laughs> keeps me sharp. So uh, happy New Year, uh, happy New Year, everybody, and hap- uh, Merry Christmas to everybody. Merry Christmas, Len. You too. Merry happy Christmas, Len. Thanks for being part of the show. Take care. We'll see you. Yeah, twenty seventeen. Yeah, we'll see you. Uh, twenty seventeen. Feels like the future. Yeah, man. Technically, it's a week in the future, but <laughs> just like the future. So in the future. Oh, man. Right, I will see you guys in Vegas. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll we'll figure out the schedule one way or another. And and I, I think what I'm doing, because I'm, I'm having other people like, oh, I'd like to, to do something or meet you or say hi or whatever. I think at e- either CES Unveiled or Digital Experience or both, I'm just going to record little bits, like mm-hmm. non-live bits. So if we can't figure out the live show, then we'll do one of those for sure. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll definitely be at uh, Unveiled. Um, I'll, I'll be at those, what, Pepcom, Unveiled, and yep. the other one, Showstop. I always call it so. Digital Experience. Everybody call, else calls it Pepcom, but that's what I mean, yeah. Right, yeah, cool, cool. cool. Um, all right, well, we'll definitely bump into each other. All right, thanks, cool. man. Looking forward to it. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye. And then there were all three. All right, I, I'm, I'm going, but I'm also going to try to be there by Unveiled. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, then we'll definitely plan. record something. Cool. Let's yeah. uh, let's let's conspire. Conspire. Yes. Conspiracies. Yes. I'll conspire with you guys anytime. Yay. Hey. Um. And Roger, I'm gonna t- I'm gonna slack you at some point about coming over and seeing Ellie, so I can bite her cheeks. That's all I want. Okay. Do. Cheek biting. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'll see you guys all right. Holidays. Happy holidays, Jenny. Bye. And so the year begins the way or ends the way it, it ended last year. Yeah. yeah did it? <laughs> yeah, kind of. Did it? Yeah. I think there were less people. There are a lot of people now that I think about it. Yeah. Uh, um, well, you know, maybe next year we do more of a stricter schedule. Yeah. I was trying to get people to a, I was trying to get people to a schedule, but, um, The thing about so the nice thing about Hangouts is that you can just say, "Hey, th- people show up," and then it does have this fun, like, "Oh, look who's here!" element to it. But then there's no way to signal, like, like if they need to leave, it feels awkward to just hang up, uh, and if we need them to leave, it's it could be awkward too. So I think we handled it okay. But if we said, like, we'll we'll like schedule actual waves more like what you tried, then that. Yeah, like maybe three ten-minute waves or something. Yeah, part of it was just uh, like some of some some of them didn't like Chris didn't get the email or he just read it like r- right when the show started because I tried to set that up. Oh yeah, with, yeah, with yeah. the box. Well, I, we could be we could be a little more we could do it a little yeah. more in advance. That's all. Um, <laughs> Need a safe word, by <laughs> bio cow. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Let's. Um, <laughs> when I say. 
note seven, then that's your signal. So, or we can go, I mean, I've done, I've done the, oh, look who's stopping by shtick for three years yeah, now. Maybe we, just, maybe we come up with a different format yeah, I would, for it. The thing is, I would love to get as, I actually really enjoyed when everyone was on. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it got some good momentum there. You're right. Yeah, good, good. And I'm trying to figure a way if there's a way to do that without necessarily cleaving people. Yeah. Out of it because they're, they're, it's it was kind of cool. When, I mean, cool depending on who you speak to. Paul between Paul and uh, yeah, yeah. No, that was Peter, a great moment. Yeah. You know, and then Jen jumped in at the end. So it's 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 stuff like that. I think is really neat. And I'm trying to find think of a way. If only Hangout uh wasn't so restrictive i mean to... yeah it's and and we you know i'm not wedded to hang out i'm just wedded to the ease of publishing and the ease of switching but if we had ideally a way to put people in a like waiting room in hangouts that would be cool yeah and i'm trying to think is there a way to do that or have something else that allows a lot of people but then we could take that feed as like my feed and it goes into you, and you oh, can yeah. talk. You know what I mean? Like you could have people set up on Skype on OBS or something, and yeah. feed that in. Yeah, that's an interesting way to go about it too. Mm. All right. Uh, what happened to Audacity? Oh, there it is. But I still right. have to actually uh, publish this show, don't I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought it. I thought it went off great, though. Yeah, I like I, it. Did it did definitely have that spontane, spontaneity that we were looking for? Yeah, um, that's the fun part of not having it strictly scheduled, right? Is you you do get that. that yeah, sort and of like, part oh, of it is people are testing again. Yeah, I should I just should, should assume everyone's internet was working. You know, when Chris popped in early and when Ron popped in early, it was fine because it gave me a chance to go. Wait, what was that? You know, and yeah. then I, like oh, it's a little going cheesy, on here. I guess, but. Listen, the whole end show is cheesy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's no way to get around it. Uh, the only thing, I guess, is uh, what will our, the schedule be for CES? Like, not is it normal show time? Oh, you're, you're starting. We're still live. Oh. <laughs> and Are I'm we? still publishing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Did uh, you forget? No. I, didn't I mean, not that I, I don't mind talking about the schedule oh, no, no, no. On, on live, but I'm also in the, still putting in. ID three tags too. I'm gonna say Tom Merritt, Roger Chang, and Lynn Peralta in the in the ID three tags. Oh, we never picked a title. Oh, let me pull Showbot. Apple is naughty and Tesla is nice. Consumer <laughs> makes a list, checks it twice. Hey, that you know time what? I interrupted the show. The United Ish. Podcasting Nation, Hack Your Holidays, Stretch Colmore Scotch. <laughs> uh, That's the sun almost never sets. Uh, if someone sends you the paste bin, that would be awesome. Oh, Beatmaster gave it to you right as the show ended. I almost said something about it because I saw it pop up. You just got to scroll back and chat. No, I just got into chat, so that's a thing. Oh, well, there you go. Is Beatmaster still around? No. Can you send again? I mean, honestly, if we want to go topical, Apple is naughty, Tesla is nice is a good one. Yeah, I like that one. All right, let's do that. That won't give away the the premise. Got it, got it, got it. Perfect. I got the pace spin. Bin of pace. Thanks, Beatmaster. I mean, Beat 2016 <laughs> with a stick. Oh, my legs. Santa, Santa Merit. Mm, I don't like to arrogate my such titles to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather them be bequeathed to me. <laughs> yes, exactly. Or uh, <laughs> given to me. Bestowed. I'd like them bestowed upon me. This is a wreath. Yeah, man. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna finish this show and then I'm done with work stuff until Monday, uh, I guess, when uh, when we when have to get... make sure that all the links get up. Basically, what, what if you can make if you can be point person for those things I put in the email, like making sure the SoundCloud link gets uploaded and all that. If you run into a problem though, just text message me, and I'll I'll be your backup. Because I can always jump on and get stuff into. 
Is that cool? Yes, but you haven't sent me that email yet. I did. Oh, things to do. Here it is. Yeah. I got like, I got like sneaky. Seven I sent it like right before the show started, actually. Because I already written day. it, but I hadn't sent it. I feel like a doctor. Do this every day. <laughs> it's a prescription. 30 jumping jacks. <laughs> Once a day with food. Must do before 1 p.m. Pacific. Oh, no. Fire Dog in the chat says, thanks for the big surprise that my pick hit the show. Just so happened my son was standing behind me while we were listening. That's amazing. At some, at some point before Monday. Well, it, then the, well, it can't be at oh, make YouTube. Oh, at some point. We've got it. Before Monday. The episode make make it live before Monday. Not like at the one But well, bef before Monday, we need to have the, if we're going to have show notes for the best of, then it needs to be done before Monday. Oh, I see. I mean, before Monday at one o'clock, really. It can yeah. be done Monday morning. Does that make yeah. sense though? I just was thinking like, oh, well, maybe we could link to the shows that you included. I wasn't sure if that was something that would be easy for you. Uh... Uh, possibly. I don't remember what I put in the episode. Um, I wrote it down, though. Uh, I'll have to, I'll have okay, to so what, what, what Jenny was obliquely referring to is that BBC reports Carrie Fisher had a heart attack during a flight uh, from on London to L.A. Oh, no. And she was rushed to a hospital upon landing. What? Man. I know. 2016 is really just crummy. I know, I know. It's all in the perception. But. Dude, 20, I, I talked about it on Sword and Laser. 2016 was a rotten uh, year for me without without counting all but... The only a current event that I counted was the Cubs winning the World Series, which for most people was a positive. Uh, but yeah, like forgetting most current events, like still, like it's just one of those years. I'll be honest, uh, show-wise, Daily Tech News Show had a great 2016. It wasn't our best year of the three, but it wasn't bad. Um, you mean in performance or just... Uh, yeah, like, stories? you know, like quality of shows, number of listeners, number of people, you know, backing us and, and making sure that we're able to do the show. We had a little dip in the middle of the year for the first time. Um, so, you know, it wasn't, like I said, it wasn't the best of the three, but... It still wasn't like a disaster or anything like that. TV had a great year, Beatmaster says. It's true. Uh, video, yeah, on-demand video. <sighs> Dark Redeemer is like, dude, in 2016, I almost died. I did not, obviously. I survived to see the rest of the year turn out as it did. Yay. I'm so glad to see you back in the chat room, man. Uh, I was worried about you. So I'm glad you didn't die. I'm, I'm very glad when people don't die. Ah, Shane. Shane's like, DTNS was totally awesome with so many EMs and E's. Yeah, I think we had some of our best shows this year. Cool. And uh, a lot of that has to do with you, Roger, like getting getting good guests and, and bookings and stuff. It's fantastic. I will not uh, deny it. <laughs> <laughs> for a moment, I thought I thought you were going to make a promise for 2017. I will not let that banner fall. But no, uh, you shouldn't deny it. No subscription fee unless you want. Your subscription fee can be. No, I should do. That. Oh, I see. This is uh, set to release on a separate day. What are you looking at? Uh, the video manager for the episodes. The video manager for YouTube? Yes. Uh, no, it's not set to release on any day. The The deal with YouTube is they don't let you schedule after you've uploaded, uh, which means all of the things that we've recorded are just listed as unlisted. So okay. all you have to do there, it actually makes your job easier. All you have to do is on the day that that show is going to post, mm -hmm. at any time on that day, it doesn't have to be at posting time, you can make it public. Okay, so do I, I do the posting as I normally did when you're not here. I create a new page. Nope, that's oh, no. already created. Done. All you have to do is go into the page that I created in WordPress and then 
change the MP3 link. That's all yeah. you have to do to the WordPress page. And then you have to go to YouTube and make the the video for that episode public. Okay. Because it, it you can't bring it to the top. Oh, and add the playlist. So make playlist. it public and add it to the DTNS playlist. And there will be no paste bin. No, there won't be any paste bins for those. Um, but that's all you have to do because you can't you can't actually it's already live. So, Got it. So people can find it if they really want to. You want to spoil yourself. Uh, but uh, but that will make it show up on the on the channel. So you don't have to like try to put it at the top or anything like that. Just just make it live and add it to the playlist. That's it. Couldn't you just hide it or no? That's it's hidden right now. Yeah. Oh, got it. Got it. Do, 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 do. So it's super simple. Oh, you made it unlisted. Okay, got it. Yeah. Well, that way I was, you know, I was letting some people have a look at it, and I wanted to be able to put the uh, the embed codes and stuff scheduled to go up. This way, if if there's a fail safe that if something happened and you couldn't, neither one of us could get to the post in time, it would still work. The YouTube video will play, and there is an MP3 that can be downloaded. You know what I'm saying? Got it. This is like the most compelling holiday content ever. Tom compelling. and Roger planned <laughs> plan for the holiday break. Megan Wells, I want breakfast, but Peter's recording a video podcast. Quite rude. Megan is Peter's wife. Oh, Peter just uh, just uh, tweeted at uh, you, uh, me, and Jenny. Okay. We should have given a shout out to our long suffering uh, partner. Oh, we should have for sure. Well, now we have because we're still live. Yay! Thanks to all the partners and understanding uh, girlfriends, boyfriends, fiancés, husbands, wives, daughters. Yeah, wife. I'll be honest. Uh, my wife, the. The the thing one of the many things that I love about her is that she's just like yeah just do your thing like you know she she doesn't let it bother her doesn't she doesn't have any issues with it you know she just lets me have this whole downstairs sometimes she comes down here and hangs out but mostly she's like yeah that's your that's your thing you don't you don't bother with you don't mess with my office I'm not gonna mess with yours um, it's awesome it's good no support. it's great I mean Jen Jen will work around her schedule to meet mine so it's good. Yeah, man, it got dark. Thanks, Peds. I just saw Peds wrote great job this year. Ace Detect and Roger C. Should I watch Twitch in real life? Paint drawing channel. Ice melting channel on D or DTNS YouTube episode wrap up. It's a tough choice, man. I don't know, I know what to tell you. Depends on what comes with the free hot dog. I mean, paint drawing might beat us. Not gonna lie. Does paint dry for looking at it? It's like a there's a wa like a watch pot never boils. Yeah. Good news for t uh, it takes forever for SoundCloud to up the feed after I upload the the mp3 it seems yeah, I it seems I feel like archive is a little slow today too maybe just a little it might be uh, busy transferring all the uh, copying all those files to Canada to, yeah oh no there we go. Apple is naughty and Tesla is nice. Dot MP3. Boom. Done. All right. I'm going to publish this like it's the last thing I'll do in 2016. And then I'm going to double check and make sure I did it right. Like it's the last time I could screw it up in 2016. <laughs> Okay, we got to show up. Oh, 
I know what I screwed up. I know what I screwed up. <sighs> it's too late. It's too late for the audio episode. But here, hold on. Listen to this. Hi, I'm Mike Range, and it's time for the final weekly tech views preview of the year, which in this case is a preview of a review, as this week's column features our top 10 stories of the year, determined by an elite panel of me, while most of my attention was on my third viewing of Will Ferrell's Elf. At number 10, an investigation into suspected tax evasion resulted in Spanish authorities raiding Google's Madrid office. What are you doing here? demanded a Google executive. An officer shouted, we're here to initiate a search. And everyone had a hearty laugh. See the complete top 10 Saturday at dailytechnewsshow.com. And better yet, see all 500 plus in the book Tech Please, now available at Amazon. It's a last minute gift that says lovingly, thank God I didn't have to go to the store. Happy holidays. There you go, folks. Go buy Mike Range's book, please, please. Because if you don't, he's going to be really mad at me for forgetting that to put it in, put that in today's show. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll add that to the audio version of Monday's Best Of. Because it kind of is a best of. Kind of, right? Right, Roger? Right? Hello? Sorry, I didn't want to breathe on top of the uh, audio playback. No, yeah, I guess you could. I mean, just to fix it to the MP3. All right, so it's going to be in the video episode for today, like it was just now. It's going to be in the full episode for patrons, like it was just now. And then I'm going to add it. I, I'll swap it out. I'll swap out the archive.org link. And I'll I, what I'll do for you, Roger, is I will make a new MP3 that has this attached at the end so that when you upload the best of episode... So are you going to delete the one that's up there already in the uh, Dropbox? Yeah, I'll replace it. Okay. So you, you, it'll look exactly the same as it is now. I'll just replace yeah. it with the, with one that has this at the end. Whew. Yeah. Okay. Almost almost let Mike down again. I forgot, his, I forgot his promo one week, and I felt really bad about that. So go. No, seriously. Go uh, buy with the Weekly Tech Views um, ebook. I'm not even lying. Just search on Amazon. You'll find it. That's it. We're, we're pretty much out of here, right? Finito of the year. Well, not for the year. Yeah. Well, I mean, we have other episodes coming, but... Uh, yep. All right. Well, I've got a splash of the beta scotch left. So before I go... I don't want to get all choked up again, but the people who have supported this show whether it's from day one, three years ago, or whether you just started pledging today, uh, you, I cannot possibly say thank you to all of you enough uh, for letting us do this. And not just me, but letting me create a show that, that can support Roger and, uh, mm -hmm. and gets uh, Jenny and Veronica and uh, Patrick and Scott and Justin and Darren and Len and Pete uh, and uh, Rich Strafalino now with Daily Tech Headlines involved. You guys are the best. So what you know? What powers this show is you. Uh, thank you for that. Happy holidays. Here's to a happy 2017. Here, here. I don't have a cup or a mug. Duh.